I, I, Smiley. All right, the spoiler is coming off. Got a nice manly hair dryer here. So, here we go. All right, so as you can see, we have removed the spoiler from Nico. I've got it in my hand here. It came off relatively easy, except for this edge got slightly damaged, unfortunately. Kind of sad about that. Yeah. Uh, oh well, at least I'm getting a new one from Tesla. So. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. Welcome back to Tesla's Wild. If you're new here, my name is Colin. Thanks for stopping by. Please consider liking and subscribing below. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. One quick reminder, there's a comment with timestamps pinned below so you can hop to the video and view the portions most relevant to you. All right, so today we had a mobile service appointment with Tesla to, you guessed it, get the spoiler installed on my Tesla Model 3. Finally got it, really excited about this. Unfortunately, they do not let you film the install, but I'll talk as much about it as I can. As you guys probably saw, I got my spoiler installed, finally. This was gonna be a very different video if this appointment hadn't have happened. So I had tried to schedule my spoiler appointment three times over the past, uh, 10 months of owning the vehicle. Every time I would schedule the spoiler appointment, they would inevitably cancel it because either A, the spoilers weren't ready, or B, the ones that were out were uh, troublesome. So I heard a lot about this revision A and part of the corners were lifting, And uh, but what I started to notice is that I started seeing a lot more performance Model 3s in the area that already had their spoilers installed. So this last time I finally uh, got through to them. This was my fourth attempt to schedule an appointment and they finally came out and did it. This appointment was awesome. The guy that came was awesome. His name was Sam. He did an absolutely phenomenal job. He actually brought two spoilers with him. The very first one was actually slightly bent. So he put it on and it wasn't quite seated correctly and he actually took that one off and put another one on uh, without me even asking. So really cared about the job, really did an awesome job and actually used two spoilers to make sure that the fitment was right and that I was happy with it. Now the other thing that they ended up doing is this is not something that I asked for. They replaced the charger connector pins within the plug on the vehicle, which is interesting. So I wonder if there is a known defect with those pins across Tesla Model 3s. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about shortly, but yeah, that was just included free of charge, nothing like that. It was very, very quick, very easy. The entire appointment took about 30 minutes quick and they came to my house, which is, you just can't beat that. Mobile service appointments are on point. The guy was driving a Model S P85D, which was gorgeous. Let's get out and check out everything that they did. All right, so as we can see, we do have the new spoiler installed here. I absolutely love it. It is a nice, gorgeous matte carbon fiber. This one looks pretty darn awesome to me. This side is slightly further off than the other, but it's hardly noticeable. It seats really well and it just looks gorgeous. You all might have seen the other one that I installed. It was actually a lot shorter and it came up a lot higher. So this one seems like it's gonna be a lot more efficient. I do like the look of it a lot, a lot more. Um, it's a lot more streamlined and sleek as you can see. But yeah, I'm super happy with how it looks. My car is finally complete. You know, it's exactly as it should be from when I ordered it from the factory. So the other thing that they ended up doing is inside of the port here, these two pins where your plug attaches to, they replace those. I'm not sure really why if there's some sort of defect but I will show you guys the uh, invoice for my service and it does include these two pins 
All right, so as you can see, we set a new trip called New Spoiler, so we're gonna see how that compares overall. My lifetime watt hours per mile is 298. We're getting close to 14,000 miles, which is quite a few. And we still have the New Spoiler trip set up. Um, we've driven 112.2 miles in about a day. As you can see, the efficiency is up around 253 watt hours per mile. The lifetime efficiency of the vehicle is 298. Now, not for one second do I believe installing this spoiler has reduced it by, what, 46 watt hours per mile? There's just no way. However, it does seem to be uh, quite a bit less in general, so it does seem to be making the car more efficient with its battery consumption, which does make sense. Not 46 watt hours per mile, but definitely some. Uh, I've been driving the same. I have not been driving conservatively whatsoever, hypermiling or anything like that. I've been doing my normal driving, which with the performance model is uh, pretty spirited in nature. So and one more quick update after a couple days here. So this is why they were working on revising these. God only knows when the revisions will be ready. But as you can see, it started to come away just a little bit on this far side. Nothing terrible, but just enough that it is slightly noticeable if you look at it there. But other than that, I love this spoiler. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love the matte carbon fiber. All right, so there we have it. That was my mobile service appointment today with the Tesla uh, mobile service people there. It was an absolutely phenomenal experience. I finally got my Tesla Model 3 performance spoiler and they did an extra service. Uh, everything was phenomenal about it. Like I said, this was gonna be a different video if this didn't happen. I was probably gonna be a little bit angry and maybe have done a rant video, but Tesla definitely made good. Nothing but the highest remarks about this appointment. I just wish it had happened a little bit earlier into ownership as opposed to 10 months into ownership going on 11 here. But that's okay. Um, I know that Tesla is still growing and adapting and trying to figure things out, so it didn't anger me that much. What really was tough was seeing other performance Model 3s with their spoiler, and I still hadn't heard from Tesla about mine at all. If you guys are still waiting for your spoilers on your performance Model 3s, make sure you just go into the app, schedule a mobile service appointment or an in-person service appointment, and make sure to just put in the notes that you uh, have seen other performance model threes with their spoilers. That's really what seemed to be different about this time I never said that in the past. I think the option that I chose was interior and exterior trim Nonetheless awesome appointment really happy with it The guy stayed until I was happy with it as I said this spoiler is still revision a I know they were working on other revisions, but I'm totally happy with how it fits and uh, yeah, no complaints here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like and subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. As always, I have a lot of new content coming away, so make sure you stay tuned, and we will see you guys next video.